Hello, my name is Anna. Welcome to my virtual yoga studio. Today I will teach you my signature liberated yoga move, the banana. We'll break it down and then put it back together again. Join me. This movement combines several elements together while challenging your sense of balance, your body awareness, your ability to stay in control and maintain body line as you continuously reorient yourself to gravity. If you'd like to learn how to do this, stay tuned. Let's begin with the most important part, the breathing. As you take smooth, deep, full ujjayi breaths, your diaphragm, as it moves the breath in and out against the resistance in your throat, can be a wonderful element of stabilization for your deep core muscles. When you are ready, grab your knees into chest and we'll begin with Apanasana. With the legs together, inhale them away from you into tabletop. Exhale, knees back into chest. Point the toes as you reach the legs away and flex the toes as you reach the legs in. This will help you connect your core to your legs your pelvic floor to the arches of the feet and to the diaphragm. The easy movement of the knees out and in helps you to relieve any tension in the low back so that you can be in control of neutral pelvis throughout the movement. Neutral pelvis is when your navel and pubis are level to each other and you have a small lumbar arch. So on your next inhalation, as you bring the legs into tabletop, let's find that neutral pelvis as you stack the knees over the hips and bring your arms shoulder level into a T. On the inhale, with the legs together, release the knees about a third of the way over to the side and on the exhale, practice the zip up of your abdomen to return the knees center. Here it's important important to focus on keeping the legs together to engage the adductors, your inner thighs, to maintain neutral pelvis throughout. Every time you come back to tabletop position, check to make sure that your low back hasn't flattened. This will help you engage the transverse abdominis. Next, we need to plug in the side body, obliques and lats. Come onto your side with your legs together and head supported by the bottom arm. On the exhale, bring the legs up sideways. On the inhale, lower them to a hover about an inch or two off the floor. You can use your top arm for light support as needed. When you finish with one side, transition to the other. Stay on your side body, completely in lateral plane. Keep your legs together. Don't allow them to drift apart as you move them up and down and avoid unnecessary tension in the shoulders. Once you finish with both sides, come back into tabletop position on your back and we are ready to integrate those two movements together. Exhale, roll over to the side, bracing yourself with the elbow if needed. As you catch your balance, straighten the legs and move them sideways. Inhale, return onto your back. Continue side to side, transitioning smoothly Catching your balance, lifting the legs sideways. Inhale, center on your back. Exhale, transition to the other side. Keep your neck in line with the rest of the spine in any way that's comfortable for you. And treat your whole torso as a log so that shoulders and hips move together. And the leg pressure into each other helps you to maintain neutral pelvis and stability deep in your core. Make sure your breath also maintains smooth quality to it. At first, you will be very unsteady and wobbly and maybe even plop on your belly a time or two. But as you become more proficient, as your sense of balance grows, you'll be able to move very fluidly side to side and begin to enjoy this movement. It is actually a lot of fun. There is one variation that could be considered more advanced, so as your proficiency grows, you can try a new take on this old banana. 
you can straighten your legs to the ceiling and move them in a graceful arc in a semicircle as you roll over to the side bring the legs in line with the body lift sideways inhale swing the legs back up exhale sideways inhale swing back up here again make sure that if you need to bend your knees to maintain neutral pelvis throughout then do that so you don't put unnecessary pressure on a low back that's not in neutral. That is your priority. Keeping the legs together will cinch your core. And smooth breathing will allow for smooth and steady transition. Once you've had your fill playing around, come onto your back again with the knees into chest and polish with another round of Apanasana. Inhale, knees away from you, point the toes. Exhale, knees back into chest, flex the toes. To relieve the low back, re-symmetrize the spine and find relaxed breathing again. And then rest in constructive rest pose with your knees bent and feet on the floor. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.